Mr. Sims, and if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. Is that okay? And then Mr. Goodfellow, you're up next. I'm Greg Sims, and uh, first off, I think everything's been said, but uh, a couple things, especially, I don't even want to push this too much because I don't want it to stay one way, but again, the way it is, is it forces you to go out into Raytown, cross traffic, come around and cross traffic back in. I've lived on 71st Terrace for 15 years. Again, there's never been a problem. We never even difficult to getting through there. So I don't know why all of a sudden somebody needed to change it. I uh, have a landscape company and people pay me all the time to fix people who've dr driven in their yards because there's kids out there that do that for fun. It has nothing to do with being a narrow street. I live at the end of the street. It's a dead end and they get in there and do donuts in my yard. So if, if this was all done because somebody drove in somebody's, you know, a little off the road in their yard, it doesn't make sense to make it one way. You should do that whole 71st Terrace one way and keep people from driving in front of my house. They, <laughs> kids do that. <laughs> okay, the other thing is you're forcing much more traffic out onto Raytown Road. I would think we'd want to be able to t keep some of the traffic off Raytown Road. These are the local people in the subdivision we can scoot on through there without adding to the traffic without getting into the lights without slowing things up and if it was the other way it'd be a couple right hand turns and we'd go around the way it was set up shows to me somebody didn't think because now you, you can go yeah whatever you got to go left all the way around it forces you to cross uh, oncoming traffic and cross back and especially if you're going a short distance you run into the store there on the end. Uh, again, I just don't think whoever planned this thought it out very well. And lastly, <laughs> it's what's already been said. I've lived there 15 years. Why does government have to come in and make our lives more difficult? I just don't understand why anything had to be done other than fixing the road when it needs fixing. That's all I have to You're say. You're suggesting two-way and you yes, okay. two-way. Thank you, sir. Mr. Goodfellow, and Tom Garrison is up next. Greetings. Hi, thank you. I was wondering, first of all, if anybody's here today from who lives on Willow, between 70th Terrace, 71st Terrace. Okay, because I've been here twice now, and nobody that lives on that street's spoken, so I'd like to know what they think. But I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Um, Everybody's talked about the pros and cons and what could have been done and should have been done, but basically it wasn't broken before other than the fact that occasionally people do get their yards driven in. And I think that, you know, I, I respect their concerns. You need to be careful about that. Don't fix what isn't broken. I think Jason Porter had the best idea of all. Let's leave it a two way street, but let's market at both ends of the street saying to use caution simple and sweet and for the long term i think raytown needs to put a counter on that street for a long period of time see what the volume of traffic really is on that street going in both directions then get it into the budget to get it fixed in the future that's all i'm going to say thank Very you good. thank you sir <laughs> mr garrison Greetings. Hey there. I wanted to start off to thank the city. I might be the only only one here that's uh, opposing or uh, for this measure. Um, I lived on, uh, I've got a house at 70 Terrace and uh, a small house on Willow. Now this street is big enough for one car to come down. And uh, it does happen and it, it happens more than, and maybe it does happen one out of every 10 times. But if you look here, Do do me, do me a favor, yeah. so, so that it doesn't get crazy. W would you address the board, please? Here, so I don't I don't want to get people interacting back and forth with the speaker. So if you okay, address, I, I apologize. Thank you. With the amount of people here, the, these are the people that are driving down, and and I understand the inconvenience of it. Um, it is a main a main thoroughfare to get to the south, um, but people don't stop. They don't back up. 
they just drive. They drive through. As Jason said, he's he's put he's put boulders in his yard, rocks to keep it from happening. But what that does, that sends them over to my side. Drive down there, take a look, look at the street, look at the sides. Um, you know, we got kids on the street. We got what a little over eight houses there, uh, probably six to eight kids, people walking their dogs down there. Um, it's just. It's a, it's a convenience thing, and I understand that. Nobody wants to make that cross. Uh, but you got to live there, too. And is, is that part of, of having a house there? You know, you just, when you bought the house, I didn't know that I was going to have to deal with it. You know, people driving in the yard. Backing out, trying to go someplace, people coming both. And, and what's really comical is when you get two going both directions. You know, then what happens? Uh, we'll stop people and ask them while they're in the yard, you know, can you stay out of our yard? They, it's, well, where else am I supposed to go? Um, you know, you're talking about widening it. I, I don't know if I got eight foot of property on that side. You know, it's going to be a drive through. Uh, we might as well put Raytown Road 2 on there. And there's a lot of traffic going up and down. Uh, I'd like to see it stay one way. Uh, whether that's north or south, I really don't care. Uh, yield signs, yeah, in the perfect world, if they would yield and read the signs, but they don't. They're still going down the one way, the wrong way. We got kids' signs up. They don't look at that. 25, it, it, it's a straight shot, guys. Straight shot. Buzz right down there. Um, I, I, do, I do agree with counting it. You know, um, we live on the street. And I understand with the other, you know, with the other people, they're not, they, they don't have the cars going up and down right beside their house. They don't have them driving in the yard. And uh, most of the time, do the people really mean it? No, they don't. If you ask them, they, they you know, they're, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, but they're back in it again. Uh, I just like to address to say, and I'm probably the only one here at this point, I like to see it one way. I own the house there. I do not like people driving my yard. I'm sure all you guys have yards, people. Take care of your yards. Uh, we were talking earlier on with, the, with the, the, the group that's coming out and taking care of beautifying Raytown. Drive over there, take a look. You know, I want one to go one north, I want one to go south. Figure out how you're gonna get out of it once you, once you commit to the drive. Because you're either gonna back up if you don't stop, you're going to have to back your way out or get into somebody's driveway. Uh, again, I got, I got uh, a two-year-old and an 18-month-old living next door. They play in their front yard. No cars drive in there to pull over. I, I just like for people to think about that. As they, I know it's an inconvenience to go across the Raytown Road, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, I do it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's why... That's a main thoroughfare through to get to the areas that you need. I thank you, sir. Mr. Mayor, put him over here, please. Could we have his uh, address of residence, please? You want to address the residents who have spoken? And we just want to know what, where he lives, his address. His address that... Uh, where he resides. 104097, Terry. Do you live there? Hold, hold, on, hold on one second, please. Stop, please. We, we, we're doing our best to try to keep things orderly and respectful, and, and I, I appreciate you all doing that so far. I, I don't want to get out of hand with this, though. I just uh, was in the assumption that he was not a resident of the neighborhood, and when he spoke okay. to us, we, he talked about his children were out there playing. Okay, we, we've cleared, and we've I answered didn't... the question. Okay. Okay. Now, would anyone else in the audience like to address the board? on this particular subject, that of the one-way street, Willow. And we'll need your name, please. Hey, I'm Norton Hickman, live 7,200 Hedges, and I've lived there for 40 years. Okay. I've used that street many, many times, go up and down it all the time. Kids use it to go to the swimming pool. The way you got it set up now is, uh, you know, it's been a two-way street for so many years. And that man that was just up here, uh, he, he bought the house, it was a two-way street, you know, so. You know, it should stay a two-way street. It really should. I mean, it's, 
uh, that you're hindering a lot of people by the, uh, by actually using a one-way street. So please keep a, a two-way street. Thank you, sir, for coming up. Miss, I'm, I'm guessing you're Rebecca Dickerson. I am. All right. I am just coming because I live on 70th Terrace, and, you know, I understand with people here, you have traffic up and down your street, having trouble getting out of your driveway. I mean, I have to wait to back out of my driveway or pull out. But making Willow a one-way was the wrong decision. I brought a picture of my children. I have five children. And um, just going to the pool, going to First Baptist for dance classes, soccer, any of that stuff, I have to take five of my children, and I have to go across three lanes of traffic on Raytown Road to get to the light. And to me, that's putting my children's lives in danger and in risk every day. I mean, I go all the time to the pool. Just going to the pool, we have to go all the way around now. And I think that it should be opened back up to a uh, two-way street. I mean, I have children. I don't fly down that street. I, you know, watch out for other kids. I've always had people that are courteous. People pull over. And, you know, people that drive crazy are usually younger younger teenagers and stuff like that, and they do that everywhere in Raytown, you know? I mean, I can be in the front of my yard playing with my children, and I can have people driving down the street crazy. But, you know, I just feel like it is the wrong decision. It needs to be opened up, or the city needs to buck up, pay the money, and have the street widened because, you know, you're putting children's lives at risk just because it's convenient for, you know, so many people, for eight, for eight houses.